channel. My name is Kaya. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching Castles Crumbling from Speak Now, Taylor's version from The Vault. This is definitely my favorite vault track and I think it's so, 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 so fun to play on the guitar. This tutorial is very beginner, so I'm hoping this is helpful to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, you do not need a capo. There are four chords needed for this song. The first one is E minor seven. Then we have C add nine. Then we have G. And then we have a chord called D over F sharp. Something that's really nice and really convenient about this song is that for all of the chords, your ring finger and your pinky finger will be on the first and second strings the entire time. So all you're doing is moving your index finger and your middle finger, um, the other chord shapes. But other than that, these two on the bottom stay the same. Okay, there are about two string patterns throughout the entire song. And I'll teach the second one once we use it because we only use it uh, for the bridge. But for the rest of the song, it's the same string pattern. So starting off with the intro, the chord progression is going to be E minor seven, C add nine, G, and then D over F sharp. And you're going to play this a total of two times. And the string pattern is going to be down, 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 up and then you repeat that for each chord. So each chord gets a full measure of strumming. So to start off with E minor seven, we would go down, 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 up. Then to C add nine, down, 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 up. Then to G, down, 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 up. And then to D over F sharp, down, 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 up. So at normal speed, this is what the intro would sound like. to the verse it's the exact same chord progression and you play that a total of four times so again slowly it would go down 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 up then to C at nine down 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 up then to G down 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 up and then to D over F sharp down down you can also do if you want to sound a little more advanced when playing this song is you can palm mute and so when you play each of the chords your palm is going to be at the edge of the strings not too far over here and not too far in the middle because then you won't hear anything and then you can do the regular strumming still but have your palm on the strings and that way it gives it more of a muted sound or you can obviously play it normally without muting it does not matter Once I to the chorus and it's the exact same as the verse so you play that chord progression four times and on the last D over F sharp you would single strum it. Right after the chorus, you're going to go into a little instrumental where you play the same chord progression, E minor 7, C add 9, G, and then D over F sharp, and you play that a total of two times. So at the end of the chorus, when you sing now, that's when you would start the instrumental. And 
verse two is the same as verse one, except it is a little bit longer. So instead of playing the chord progression four times, you'll be playing it eight times. This time I'm going to palm mute. So those who want to palm mute can kind of hear what it would sound like. Once I was a for a dynasty, crowds would hang on my words and they trusted me. exact same as the first chorus and for this chorus you don't have to single strum on the D over F sharp you can just keep playing because it then goes into the instrumental again and I string pattern comes in and the chord progression is kind of changed up so it's a little bit different it's still easy still has the same chords but you do mix it up a little bit so i like to break it up into three parts for the bridge i find that easiest so for the first part the chord progression is going to be e minor 7 c add 9 and then d over f sharp and instead of playing the g like you normally would in the normal chord progression you add an extra measure of a c add 9. And then the string pattern is going to also be a little bit different and you're going to play down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so I'm going to play the first new chord progression with the new string pattern very slowly. We'll do it together. That way it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so starting off with E minor 7, it's going to go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And then you go to C at 9. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And you play C at nine one more time instead of the G. So one more time. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And then you go to D over F sharp, which gets one measure like E minor seven. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so I'm going to play the first part of the bridge with that string pattern and the new chord progression. You guys can also follow along. And then for D over F sharp, you can continue to play that new string pattern, or you can down strum. That's personally what I like to do because it kind of builds up the rest of the bridge. Okay, then we have the second part of the bridge, and that's when you play the normal chord progression, E minor 7, C9, G, and D over F sharp, and you play that total of one time. However, instead of being the normal string pattern you would do with that chord progression, you're still going to implement the new string pattern of down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, and then after you play that chord progression, normal chord progression one time, you're going to play E minor 7 for a total of three measures. Small bills on my ships in the harbor. Like I'm a monster Now they're screaming at the palace for a day Just a chant by the name Now they're screaming that they hate me Never wanted you to hate me My castle's tumbling down Okay, then you go into the chorus And as you just saw, I downstrummed on G and D That was the beginning of the chorus Which you can do as well and after you play that measure of G and D, then you go into the regular chord progression again, regular strumming, and you finish off the chorus. You're going to play the chord progression E minor 7, C and 9, G, D over F sharp a total of five times. And then after the chorus, there's a little instrumental play that you guys can do or you don't have to, it's optional. Before that, you'd play the normal chord progression and you'd play that total of two times. My castles coming down in my heart, so my So 
And that is how you play Castles Crumbling by Taylor Swift. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And I always recommend to make each tutorial personal and as easy as to you. So if you have to switch out a chord, switch out a certain string pattern, or you know, single string on one part, whatever it may be, make it personal to you and just do your best. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.